Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping straight into New World. So obviously a lot of us are enjoying our time on New World, and we're going to kind of cover something that's definitely a tip and trick for you guys starting on New World. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our faction board, open the faction board. We're going to be able to see that I have 9,585 tokens, so I want to start spending because my cap is at 10,000. So if we go to buy rewards and we go into the Scrivener, Right here, we can see that uh, this is what I have unlocked right now. This is what I can all buy. So it's a great idea to buy some extra potions and everything. But the one thing you want to do is take advantage of this gear. Obviously, this gear is very, very good. Let's say I'm going a rapier and musket like I've been showing you guys in my gameplay videos. Well, the one thing you can do is go to, let's say, a light armor set. So if we jump through here, we actually take a look at some light armor. So there's heavy. We go down a little bit. We can see medium. We go a little bit farther down. We see light armor footwear so let's just say we want one of these light footwears but you know it's uh the light footwear itself is actually eight focus and five intelligence so not very solid for us right well that's actually not true so what you can do is let's just buy this just to show you guys i have a lot of extra tokens i'm not too worried about it so we'll buy that and then we'll also go up here and we can take a look at uh where is that here let me find it real quick i think we actually have to go up one tier um here we go. So Syndicate Barbarian Seal. So this will use at Blacksmith and Outfitting Stations to change attributes to Syndicate Faction Armor to Strength and Constitution. So I am Dexterity, obviously, in Constitution. So I want to find one that works for me. Here we have Armor to Intelligence and Constitution. And obviously, the Brigand Seal has Dexterity and Constitution. So if I buy, um, let's just buy two of them. I think I have two pieces of gear that I was going to do this with. So let's buy two of those real quick. And let's head on over to where we would go to craft this kind of gear. Obviously, light armor being crafted at what station? Well, if you guys don't know, I'm running the wrong way. You should know Everfall by now. I should, at least. Um, you go to the outfitting station, obviously. So if it's light armor, you go to the outfitting station like this. And you should seal, uh, you know, see the seals at the top left here. So there's two different armors that I could currently change and uh, by doing so, it also uses 50 Azoth. So let's go with the one I'm actually going to change. So if we go to my tab right now, we go to my inventory. You can see that's still a tier two uh, head that I am wearing. And there's reasons behind that. I've been using this head because of the passive kind of effect here or the you know status effect that takes place. Targets hit with powder burn are slowed by 8.6% for five seconds. So obviously that's a very, very good uh, you know, passive to have when you're, you know, playing 1v1s, 2v2s, or just ganking players. Uh, it's very, very good for PvP specifically. So that's why I've been holding it for so long. I'm, I'm, you know, time and ready to get rid of it because I have stopping power on my musket, and I'm going to use that to slow them instead now. So what I'm going to do is actually go back to the out, uh, you know, the actual outfitting station tier two, and go to this helmet. And you can see right now that the helmet is actually. I'll go back and show you guys that. This helmet is actually intelligence and focus based, right? So it wouldn't be any good for me right now as my main stat for dexterity and musket is dexterity um, and not obviously intelligence and focus. So we go to the helmet. We can see that, you know, it's going to take this helmet. It's going to do 50 Azoth. It's going to take one seal and we can actually craft. So with crafting this, you can see that uh, it gives me some random stuff, but it does keep those, you know, eight and five uh attributes that were you know showed before and previously so now we see eight dexterity five constitution um, i did get resilient per, uh, perk so critical hits deal 3.9 percent less damage to you which is pretty solid and you can also see that uh, you know the gear scores at 345 so i can pop that on the only thing you will miss is that gem so i don't get a gem for um you know doing when you do this you lose the gem that's in there but you know not a big deal to me uh this is definitely you know a great way to take advantage of grabbing light armor and transforming it from that you know intelligence constitution to dexterity constitution from the syndicate uh, or you know marauders or covenant whatever you guys are faction wise you can definitely do this and take advantage so if you guys have any questions definitely let me know in the comment section down below i just want to give you guys one of the greatest tips to me that a lot of people don't know about yet there's obviously a lot more tips out there uh this is just going to be tip today that i wanted to give you guys a brief understanding of so just a great way to take advantage of getting great gear from that faction missions that you guys have probably been doing a lot of so thank you guys again for tuning in make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and i'll see you guys all in the next one